welcome back to my channel in today's video i quickly wanted to share with you the rest of my halloween decor throughout our house my last video focused on decorating the kitchen and dining area for halloween and in today's video we're going to focus on the entryway the living room and then our downstairs family room sorry it took me a little longer to get this video out for you guys it's just been a little crazy you know life happens and also just you know, sometimes you can't be motivated to do things 24 seven. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video and I am so glad that you are here joining me. So this video was filmed over the course of a few days. I just decided to fit in decorating when I could. I believe my son Grant, he's three years old and he goes to a little parent stay out program two days a week but I think I filmed this during his fall break and that is a little bit of why I've been behind on my filming and editing schedule but anyways that's why I kind of just had to fit in decorating where I could so we are getting started here with my entryway table I switched out the table runner my mom recently gave me this really cool Halloween table runner and the color scheme is perfect for what I'm doing and then I brought up this um, vintage gallon glass jug. I think it's like a vinegar jug, maybe. Anyways, it is. Um, it was originally on our mantle in the basement, but I brought it up here because I really wanted to use these floral stems that I picked up way back when at Hobby Lobby, like back in July, I think. So I love how they look. Very good for Halloween, a perfect color scheme. And then I'm gonna add my orange Ray Dunn pumpkin down here that says spooky. On the other side of the entry table, we are going to set up my Halloween ceramic tree. I picked this up at Michael's last year and it is one of my favorite Halloween pieces that I own now. If you don't know, my sister and I really are obsessed with these ceramic trees. She has so many Christmas ones and I think I have six Christmas ceramic trees. She has more than I do and she's still collecting them. But I picked up this Halloween one and I really love it. So we're gonna set that up over here on the entry table. I needed a way to elevate this ceramic tree because it's not very large, but it looked too short in comparison to the floral stems on the left side. So I had a good idea to just bring up some books that I was previously using downstairs, just some black and white books and stack them up. And that was the perfect way to elevate this. And you know, it also kind of looks like, you know, spell books, potion books. We're just gonna go with that. <laughs> I'm also going to be adding some spider webs to this um, picture on the wall. This artwork is from Hobby Lobby and it is just a fall picture and I don't really have any Halloween wall decor. So I just wanted to add some spider webs to this one to make it a little more spooky. And I'm serious. I think I have had these spider webs for, geez, I don't even know how long, five years or more but I'm still using the same pack of spider webs from the Dollar Tree. Here on the bottom of the entry table, I decided to jazz up my fall display here with a few of these spider cutouts. Now I purchased these at Walmart this year and have really enjoyed using them. I am totally scared of spiders in real life, but I love how these look on the pillow, like they're crawling over the pillow and like they're inside that lantern. Oh, so creepy, but I really love it. So we 
have moved on into the main living room area. You can see the entry table back there. But to the couch, we're just going to add a new Halloween throw blanket. I picked this up at Target this year. These are just the little $10 throw blankets. They're pretty thin, but I really wanted a Halloween one to jazz up the couch. And I chose this one. It has little black kitty cats and jack-o'-lanterns on it. Of course, we have our own black kitty cat. His name is Ollie. And I just loved that uh, blanket and I thought Grant would get a kick out of it too. So adding that here in the corner and then also adding my Ray Dunn Boo Pillow. Still love using my Ray Dunn seasonal pieces, of course. And then I'm just gonna tidy up these magazines here on the ottoman. Okay, moving on to my antique corner cabinet. So I decided to keep the top of this the same. I don't have a whole lot of Halloween pieces that would be good up there in that basket. So we're just gonna jazz up the shelves a little bit. I have a black Ray Dunn pumpkin that says boo. So it matches the pillow on the couch. And then I have a pillow that also matches the orange Ray Dunn pumpkin. You guys will see here in a minute, but Adding that over here, this shelf turned out so cute and neutral just with blacks and whites, some Halloween pieces, and then just the top still stays the same with that hint of the burnt orange. So I was really pleased with how this shelf turned out. I know this video is coming out really close to Halloween, but I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I hope it gives you inspiration either for a Halloween party you might be having this weekend or just bookmark it and save this for next Halloween and so you can get some inspiration then. I'm going to share with you guys the final looks of the living room and entryway right now. Okay, so we are moving on to our basement family room. So I have had this space decorated for fall since probably the very beginning of September. So I was really ready for a change up and really wanted to make this festive, even though, I don't know, Halloween, I haven't been as excited for Halloween this year. Um, we are going out of town this weekend. We will be back in time for Halloween, but it's just kind of like throwing things off and I haven't even watched Hocus Pocus yet or Halloween Town. Like, what am I doing with my life? But 
um, I was still excited to decorate and to share with you guys these ideas. So we are starting here on our basement mantle. This is a corner gas fireplace. Um, it was here when we bought the house and um, I have really been enjoying styling this for the different seasons. And for Halloween, I am adding a Halloween village. So this is a pretty large village, these two houses, and it came with a bunch of little characters. And it's originally from Walmart. My mom had purchased this years ago when I was a kid and she gave it to me a few years back. So I knew I wanted to place this on this mantle because the mantle is quite large. And then I have these very cute like Halloween fiber optic trees that my aunt gave to me. Stay tuned for the final looks because you guys will see it all lit up and how it looks in the dark. So we're moving on to the TV stand here. I'm just adding this little Halloween string garland into my fall garland that's already there. The Halloween garland has leaves and witches hats and bats in it. And then I'm placing those two little stuffed characters. Those came from Aldi a few years back that my mom got me. To round out our Halloween basement family room, this wall arch over here that we have came from Hobby Lobby. And I am going to add a bunch of these bat cutouts over here. You know, the very popular style to do these bats right now. But I really love how it just adds that simple touch onto this wall but it's also very striking at the same time. So these are just the back cutouts from Walmart, very cheap, and I just use painter's tape to put them on the walls so they don't mess up the paint. All right, guys, enjoy the final looks of our basement family room, and I'll catch up with you guys at the end. guys this is gonna be it for today's Halloween decorate with me video I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it gave you some fun Halloween inspiration I hope you guys have a very fun and safe Halloween coming up and I'll see you back very soon in another video bye